The new Welcome Home update changed literally everything and there was one character who was front and center when it came to new lore. Eddie, dear. Done. 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 I'm acknowledging that that was cringe. If you haven't seen the new update, I did make a video on the overall website update and all the secrets that can be found within. And I do have a playlist on my channel going over all of the Welcome Home updates so far and every single secret and bit of lore. So if you're not up to date, I totally recommend going to check that out. So today my focus is going to be on Eddie Deer and the hidden website link that was found in the new update. www.awayfrompryingeyes.net If you need a refresher, in the new update, tiny images were scattered throughout the website. Well, as it turns out, each little image actually equals a letter. Now, when you find all the pictures and unscramble all the letters, you get the website URL I just mentioned. It freaking blew my mind. The website serves as a little logbook for a Welcome Home Restoration Project employee, who we don't know the full name of, but we do know that they signed their logs off with the letter W. All we know about them is that Wally has been reaching out to them, and they're undergoing some type of torment. They've been receiving phone calls from Wally, and they are aware of the dark entity that is present within the Welcome Home universe. But anyways, the website provides us with three sections of evidence. Number one, broken phone. Number two, commercials. And three, more soon. In the broken phone section, we learn that the employee is being contacted via toy phone, just like the employee was contacted in the summer update. Now, the commercials are what I'm really here to talk about because, holy dang, this is where things get just really odd and things get really scary for Eddie Deer. My poor boy. So in the commercial section, we learn that this employee's TV just randomly started playing Welcome Home commercials. That's not creepy at all. Um, I don't know. If I were them, I would just burn the whole TV because one, the show is lost media. They don't have these commercials. So how is it just like existing on this person's TV? And number two, why is it randomly playing on this person's TV? They don't know the rules of horror movies, I guess. But anyways, the employee recorded the commercials for us and it's 22 minutes long and it is the best thing I have ever seen. For instance, I discovered my new favorite songs. I don't know how to floss. It's been years since 2017 and I still don't know how to floss. And of course, Barnaby's always coming in with the bangers. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm listening back to the commercials and I've never related to a line in a song more, more than this line in Barnaby Beagle's hit single, Whose Child Is This? Whose kid is this? Starring our very own Barnaby B. Beagle. He's plucking me in aisle four and tried to call the other way, but there's a different kid here, hey. <laughs> As you're singing along, having a great time, fangirling over the cute animations, you realize that something's, something's off. And you start to put the itty bitty puzzle pieces together. You realize that the update seems to focus on Eddie. There's a pattern. For example, on the Welcome Home Wishbook tape on the regular website, the tape cuts off right as Eddie Deer is mentioned. Now you may think, huh, that's just, that's just a weird coincidence. However, when you're watching through the commercials on the wayfrompryingeyes.net website, you realize maybe it's not a coincidence. The commercials seem to be pretty tame and cut together smoothly until there's an abrupt cut from Barnaby's cigarette commercial and it cuts to a video from Eddie's point of view. He's very upset because no one asked him to deliver presents for homewarming. No one has even called him. He's fidgety and he seems very anxious. Then the video abruptly cuts back to the normal commercials. A few more of these normal commercials go by and then it abruptly cuts again. And it's another video from Eddie's point of view. He's resorted to doing TikTok toe with himself because he's bored and no one has freaking called him. He's lonely. He looks outside, but he doesn't see anyone outside. There is a pause and he has a moment of rage where he just smashes everything out of his way on his desk. And he states again, he doesn't know why no one has contacted him. And then it cuts back to a normal commercial. And then things take a turn for the worse. We get an animated commercial that seems normal at first. It's a conversation between Sally and Eddie. Sally tells Eddie that the reason they didn't ask him to deliver any presents is because they did it already. Sally insists that Eddie needs a break. So they make their way to home for Wally's homewarming party. So he sits on a chair at home with a singular pea on a plate. Now the one single pea is mentioned several times throughout the new update. Once in the cookbook, once in the 12 days of homewarming, Barnaby mentions it. So Eddie's sitting in this chair and the narrator goes on to say Eddie was happy at last. But then that line keeps repeating over and over again in a weird glitchy form. The camera zooms into Eddie's face, which is becoming increasingly more and more panicked. Noises from the homewarming party start to get louder and louder until everything just goes completely silent. And there's a close-up shot of the single pea on the plate. Then there is a shot of Eddie sitting in the chair, no sounds in this completely black void. There's then a shot of him in the void, which then pans forward, revealing Holmes staring menacingly down at Eddie. 
the animated style then turns into like the real life puppet style again and Eddie is fidgeting. There are clips of real life props, a close up of an ornament covered in some type of liquid which falls to the floor, and it keeps switching back and forth between this cartoon style and the real life puppet style. More fidgeting and Holmes' eyes fixated on Eddie. Finally, a voice can be heard once again, but the video still remains in the point of view of Eddie. Sally brings Frank over to Eddie and they discuss Eddie's distress. Sally leaves and Frank realizes that there is something seriously wrong with Eddie. They call out to Eddie and try to break him from the state, but the video abruptly ends with a happy outro song. Yeah, super duper interesting. This whole segment is super interesting for multiple reasons. In the past few updates, we have seen multiple characters from Welcome Home break the mold. And what I mean by that is they seem to be more human-like and aware. Wally Darling reaches out directly to us and is communicating with us. We've known he's been able to do that since update one. It's also heavily theorized that Frank is also able to reach out to us. Now this year's Halloween update took a lot of fans by surprise, myself included. And the reason for that being is Sally seemed to reach out to us through a Halloween storybook track and giving a cry for help. She breaks out a character during the Halloween storybook recording to warn us about a monster that comes out at night and attacks the neighbors. So that that's fun. I feel like the homewarming update is continuing that pattern. Eddie isn't acting like just a character. He's acting more human with human emotions. He's clearly going through something real, something not in script. I mean, take a look at the normal Welcome Home website content. You see smiling faces, a show that's similar in nature to shows like Sesame Street, a magical world where everything is fine, and there's a set way these characters act. Eddie's reactions were human. They were human. I find it interesting that while he is struggling, the only presence recognized other than himself is home peering down at him in a menacing manner. Is Eddie afraid of home? What's the connection? I just find it very interesting. Frank's reaction to Eddie seems very human-like as well. I saw this really awesome comment this morning that was talking about the single pee on the plate, like in correlation to being more aware. You feel isolated because you're starting to become aware that you know, I'm not where I should be, like, this isn't real, like, whoa. I don't think the pee on the plate would be there for no reason. There has to be some symbolism to it because, you know, it's a reoccurring theme throughout this update. If this pattern continues, I'm wondering what the end result is gonna be. I just wanna say that the switch between cartoon and puppet is also an interesting choice as well. Like, I feel like it's almost acknowledging that it's not real and giving, like, the sense of you not feeling real. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this theory and sort of, like, breakdown video. I really like doing videos like like this because I just like making theories and of course I always like reading through your theories during my welcome home fan theory videos I definitely want to do another one because I'm curious about what you guys think about this topic so let me know your theories in the comment section down below anyways I think that is going to be all for today thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on the next one peace out Brussels sprouts